plus button, sales form. And so, so now we don't have those fields. So unless you're using them, it's sometimes useful not to have them in there because then you have a less cluttered field. So you have some customization on what's gonna show up on your invoice. Closing that back, hitting the cog button again, going back into our account settings, back into the sales area. So that was, and that was that. And then we have the tags here, lets you add tags to track sales. So this is an, another kind of custom way they can can add another layer of tracking. We might look at tags in and of themselves, but they're kind of a specialty usage type of thing. We've got the products and services. Show products and service column on the sales forms. So that's on by default. So it's gonna show the products and service items in, uh, by default. We'll keep that. If you want the number, it can show the number here, uh, but we'll keep it off by default. Turn on price rules. So this is kind of a new thing that's in the beta at this point in time. Uh, price rules allow you to provide discounts for specific products to certain customers for a specific amount of time. So it gives you, you know, more optionality or customization over that process. Track quantity and price rate. So that's on by default, adds quantity and rate fields to sales forms. We have that on by default. We'll keep that on here. Uh, track inventory quantity on hand. So obviously if we have the tracking of inventory, noting that with inventory, there's multiple methods you can use to track it. You, you, you might try to stay in a cash-based system and, and basically just expense the, the cost to get sold when you buy the inventory, which could only be used if you don't have that much inventory. You have a just-in-time kind of system. You're buying inventory for a sale that you're going to make quite quickly. You can use a, per, a periodic inventory system, tracking the inventory outside of QuickBooks, or you can turn on inventory tracking, which will track not only the dollar amount of inventory, but also the unit uh, the units of inventory. That's what we're going to practice on here. That's one of the di differences between the levels of QuickBooks software, by the way, as well. That's why we had to, to level up to the, the plus in essence here that we're using, I believe the, the main one so that we can track, uh, have the capacity to track inventory.